welcome back again to my channel guys so this is the last session of the strategic management of professor Roy Semmel and also Ibu Firda Basbeth for the IPMI International Business School so in this final session I will have conclusions on what is happening based on my understanding and learning during the class in the strategic management. Strategic management is a set of managerial decision and action that determines the long run performance of the corporation. And the benefit of strategic management, when you can have the clearer sense of strategic vision, two, you have the sharper focus on what is strategically important, three, is improve understanding of a rapidly changing environment, four, is improve organizational performance, and then achieve a match between the organization environment and its strategy and then six is the unstable environment seven is the strategic thinking and lastly is the install organization learning so in this session we also learn about the funneling so how's the environment scan doing on and then we going narrowing down to the SWOT and then we have the values the vision and mission of the company and then at the end of the funneling, we can have the strategic issue or strategic priorities. We have the objective, initiative, and evaluations. So in detail, I will share the framework that I learned on the next slides. Okay, so this is the framework that I have telling you before. We have 10 steps of framework for strategic management flow. Number one is the strategic posture vision, mission, and business model, and then we go for external analysis, we go to the internal analysis, and then we check number four is the strategic formulation. And on number five, we will analyze the strategy for corporate business and function, and then do the IE matrix and the toast matrix, and then eight step is the strategy selection. Number nine is the organization structures and then we do the implementation for program, people, procedure, and budget. And then lastly, we do the performance measurement and balance scorecard. So to make it easier, I have made an example of <clears throat> the strategic management of the Matahari department store. Okay, so based on the annual report Matahari, I wrote down their vision and mission and then I also put the current objective strategy and policy and then I put the pastel analysis and I add environment here and I also put opportunity that emerge based on each pastel and threat that face the firm and then I have the EFE matrix I got from SWOT is opportunity threat the way I do this I put on five key external strategic factors for each opportunity and threats and then I weight each of them in total, I have to have this one and then I do the rating on each segment between 1 to 5 and then I uh, weighted the weight and the rating and then I have the total numbers 3.7 for EFE matrix. Next is the industry analysis, the Porter 5 forces. I put the bargaining power of buyer, threat of entrance, bargaining power supplier, substitute and finally conclusion industry rivalry next is competitor profile matrix i choose ramayana and centro competitor of matahari and then the key success factor will be brand reputation range of product market share low cost structure customer retention superior it capabilities and successful promotion same thing again do the weighting in total have to have one do the rating for each do the scoring and then see the result matahari is still the top and then followed by ramayana and centro then do the value creation analysis you can see here do research on the uh, journal and also on the annual report find the firm infrastructure human resource technology development procurement inbound logistic operation outbound marketing and sales service and then analyze the margin and finance and then for internal analysis do the free analysis check this this situation valuable rare inevitable or non substitutable for tangible intangible and organizational capability then after this you have a conclusion on the competitiveness is it a competitive parity competitive advantage or temporary competitive advantage then last on the internal analysis i have the ife matrix same like EFE matrix previously, but this one is focusing on the strength and weakness. Put on the five key internal strategic factors, put down the weight, in total have one, and then uh, uh, calculate this with the score, final, have 3.6. 
and put some comments. And then SFA is a combination between EFE and IFE. I put the top uh, numbers, top value of each segment for opportunity. T is threat, S strength, W is weakness. Again, do the weightness, do the rating and then score. And then set the duration. Is it going to be short, medium, or long? After that, do the strategy for corporate, business, and functional. For corporate strategy, I use directional, the growth strategy, which involving the market penetration, market development, product development, forward integration, diversification, and related. And then the business strategy is the cost leadership, the low cost and focus. And then the functional strategy, human resource, marketing, operation, and finance. And for finance, I do a bit uh, more to put on the financial report and then see the gross sales, EBITDA, and sales growth and then for strategic formulation because you need to do the toes matrix you need to combine this into SO which means that you need to use strength to overcome the opportunity and then this going to be ST use strength to overcome the threat and this going to be WO you need to do you need to have opportunity to avoid weakness and this one is the hardest WT you need to avoid threat and also to avoid weakness on this side. So based on BCG matrix, the EFE and IFE numbers as mentioned previously, it was calculated here in quadrant 1. Means that matahari should be recommended for market penetration, market development, product development, and forward integration. Especially during the COVID situations and then do the calculation on each and then uh, have the numbers of TAS on each segment 